lot of birds. Rapid sunrise here at Bachas Bay. Um, this is like a popular site for turtles to nest, and it's the season for them to hatch. Got into the water. It's probably too late to see any baby turtles, but you never know. It's so big. Blue heron. That is a great blue heron, one of the main predators. These are tracks from a mother turtle that came in and tried to raise some eggs, but unfortunately for her, unlucky, she went right towards these lava rocks, gave up, and then just went right back into the water. And this pelican looks real freaked out by us. <laughs> Nervous pelican. <laughs> We're midway through our eight day cruise and every day has been jam packed with multiple hikes, snorkeling and even kayaking. After our sunrise hike along the beach, we headed out to do some snorkeling. Did you see the eagle there? Good job, huh? Yeah, the eagle there. Yeah. These waters are filled with all kinds of sea life, and it routinely blew our minds to see this much biodiversity every time we stuck our heads under the water. After our epic snorkeling, we headed to an island beach to hang out with what is probably the friendliest creature in the entire archipelago. Everywhere you look, there are sea lions. If you look over there, you think it's a rock, it's not, it's a sea lion. <laughs> So we're here in Mascara Island, which is apparently like a nursery school for sea lions. All the mamas drop their babies off here, they go out hunting, all the kids can play together, and it's just like a really safe, sheltered area. And it's so cute to see them playing together. And since they're young, they're just super playful. They're like jumping out of the water. It's adorable. They're like puppies. Like puppies, yeah. Very stinky puppies. Yeah. Oh no. Did you know? Island has a lot of birds on it, including one of the only places we're gonna see the red footed booby. The darker the red, the healthier. Yeah, yes. so this is a very healthy booby. The blue beaks are pretty cool. Yeah. Do the blue footed boobies have blue beaks? No, they, no right? There's a lot of information happening here at all times. I'm really trying to retain it. A lot of birds. 
when you look up at the sky, the amount, the sheer number of birds that you see in the sky is impressive. I don't know if Hitchcock ever came here. If he did, he would have been terrified. Look at the, it's, there's so many. Oh, look at this freak, it's building a nest. So we're looking at some of these free gift birds that have their chest all puffed out for mating season. When I saw pictures of them, I didn't realize how big they were. I thought they were going to be like this, but they're, they're massive. I also didn't notice in the pictures, but it's kind of, they're kind of grooving on the back. They're weird looking. <laughs> it looks like a heart. But it's really nice because we came at the end of mating season, so you still see those like big frigate birds all like puffed up. But you also see some of the little baby chicks already hatching. So we kind of got lucky there. What a good buddy. You can see the male has like the red thing on there, and the females are just white. Look at that. You get where like the term lovebirds come in, right? He just brought her some more uh, nesting material. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Oh. He was real happy with that one. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Stinky. So we're kayaking around Genovese Island. Um, we had a snorkeling option or a kayaking option. And since we've recently learned that the reason the water is so green is because of the copious amounts of birds pooping in it, we went for the kayaking option. Rocks are really cool though. It does feel like they could fall at any point. Yeah, it's kind of scary. <sighs> but also super cool. Yeah. After kayaking, we hopped in the Zodiac to seek out one of our most highly anticipated animals. To wrap up our day, we headed back to the bird-filled beaches of Genoveza Island. Crabs don't pinch our bums. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> a very real risk. We're here on Genoveza. And we've been in the Galapagos for about five and a half days now. We've seen all sorts of wildlife. The sea lions are incredible. The birds are incredible. The crabs are incredible. Everything has been amazing, but the one animal that, from the list that we've, you know, sort of were seeking out in coming to Galapagos, was the hammerhead shark. And today we were able to see it, and it was a amazing. few of them. A few of them, and they, it, it did not disappoint. Yeah. These creatures are amazing. When we went out, you could tell the water was pretty choppy. The visibility was not so good, but that kind of added to the thrill of it in my mind. Yeah. Amazing, amazing place. I, I gotta say, I am just blown away by our experience here at the Galapagos. And I mean, it all builds on top of, of one another, but each of these experiences that we've had on the various islands have been spectacular. Ah. So we just woke up, 
about to get our breakfast and there's sharks in the water. And a sea lion. That's less rare. Oh, there it is. Sharks and penguins and sea lions, oh my. What a morning, huh? What a morning. I know, it's not even eight, I don't think. About to walk across uh, Bartholomew Island. It's the youngest island, it's only like a million years old, only. Like everything in the Galapagos, it's all made from lava. This all stems from like lava eruptions and the land builds up. And from this point, you can really see a lot of the volcano peaks. So he was saying that everything is connected underground so when there's an eruption you can look around and you're gonna see like 50 lava flows just flowing out of here like red hot magma not today though you hope i hope yeah <laughs> the top now oh yeah we're at the top it really is beautiful. I doubt that you're going to be able to comprehend this entire landscape because you see this stuff happening here in the foreground, but the further you look, you can just make out little peaks of various islands. It's so clear, I can actually see the rock formations under the water as well down here in the bay. In Bartholomew Bay, you can find another species of shark. These are white tip reef sharks and are pretty common in the Galapagos. They're found in many parts of the world, but their numbers have dwindled in recent years due to poaching and are now considered a species vulnerable to extinction. As far as sharks go, these are some of the friendlier kind, and they fearlessly swim alongside us. We've said it before and we'll say it again. This was some of the best snorkeling we've ever done. We went snorkeling multiple times every day and there was always something new and incredible to see just beneath the water's surface. This is the newest lava. This is only a couple hundred years old compared to all the other islands where it's like a couple hundred thousand years or a million years. This is where you can actually see like, this is obviously lava. Was lava. Feels like lava. Is there any life on this island? I don't know, let's find out. The eruption happened, the lava just burned the trees, maybe killed many animals. So if you want, we can walk a little bit more and you can see the shape of the, the trees that were burned because the lava just uh, you know, burned it all. Now it's a tree, now it's here, so you can still see all the bark and the indentation of where it was. If you're a geologist, I'm sure you're just loving this. Just like that, you're on a beach. So it just looks like we're hanging at the beach, but that lava field is literally right there. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
if you like this episode or the one before or the one afterwards, whichever, make sure you comment. Let us know that you like it. Like the video and make sure you subscribe so that you know when the next video is out. Thanks for watching, guys. No, okay, I'm not. More water. What's that? More water. We're trapped. We're trapped. Yeah, the tide's coming in.